In display fingerprint sensors are here and they actually work. In my opinion in display fingerprint scanners are so cool but is it too early to implement one? Let's find out. Hey guys welcome back to this new video. This is the unboxing cabin. Let's get started. So today in this video we will be doing a fingerprint speed test comparison between the newly launched OnePlus 60 and the Vivo V11 Pro that was launched earlier this year. As you all know that the OnePlus 60 and the Vivo V11 Pro is featuring the in-display fingerprint scanner which means there won't be any other traditional fingerprint scanner which you will see on normal phones on the rear or on the front bezel. And you might be wondering how this in-display fingerprint scanner works. So it works like this. An in-display fingerprint sensor uses an optical fingerprint sensor to capture the fingerprint data and is embedded under the phone screen. So let me explain. It works by capturing the reflected light of the fingerprint through the OLED pixels. So when you touch the phone screen, the display lights up to illuminate the fingerprint. The sensor then captures a high-res scan of your fingerprint through the light reflected from the gaps between the pixels. So we have already set up the fingerprints on both the devices. And as you all know that the Vivo V11 Pro was already launched earlier this year and the OnePlus 60 was launched recently. So you can expect some minor differences between both the devices. And that's all being said, let's go ahead and begin the fingerprint test comparison between the OnePlus 60 and the Vivo V11 Pro. So basically we will be doing 3 rounds of the fingerprint test to find out our ultimate fingerprint speed test winner. So I have reduced the speed to 0.5 so that you can see who is the actual winner. In the first round it is the OnePlus 60 that wins in a considerably big margin. Let's go ahead for the second round. And this time again it's OnePlus 60 that beats Vivo V11 Pro in a big margin. Hopefully in the third round I hope there is some change. And this time it's the Vivo V11 Pro that wins. Hey guys, if y'all enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if y'all want to see such type of videos in the future, do leave it in the comment. Like this video and share it with all your friends. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.